You going to that party? Yeah, how'd you know? The way you were dressed, I guess. Oh, right. Wait, are we talking about the same... The same... Are you talking about Trevor's party or a different... Trevor, yeah. Good friend of mine. Oh. You know, his place is right up here if you want to tag along. Yeah, sure. My name's Jim, by the way. Claire. So it's just right over here. So how do you know Trevor? From college. You went to Wichita State? Yep. I don't remember you. Well, a lot of people don't. Seems like I was always in my room studying. What'd you study? Hermit crabs. Cool. Are you sure that this is the right way? Yeah, it's just right up here. I even know a little shortcut. Shortcut. Yeah, see up there that uh, third darkened alley on the right? Uh, I just remembered that I have an appointment to go to. What are you talking about? It's a doctor's appointment. I'm really sorry. Come back here. I got lost. No, no, it's okay. I'm glad you're here, alright. Why not? Me too. Oh, look who's here. Remember Jim from WSU? He was the one always messing with those fucking hermit crabs. Right. Hi, Claire. Jim, I'm really sorry about what happened. Yeah, what was that? What happened? Uh, what happened? Well, I was walking her to the party, and then she sort of like freaked out and started running away from me and pushed me into a trash can. So. Claire, why would you do that? We started walking, and this really ominous music started playing, and it grew more and more intense the more we walked. Claire, I thought it was gonna. You can't rely on incidental non diegetic music as a basis for decision making. I mean, what? Just because some scary music starts playing moments after we meet, I'm required to turn out to be some sort of knife wielding psychopath? Is that it? The thought crossed my mind. <laughs> Claire, if you'd been thinking critically in any way whatsoever, it would have occurred to you how painfully obvious that little scenario would have been. Intentionally misleading background music is so ubiquitous nowadays. Tell me about it. I mean, to be honest with you, Claire, the moment that music started playing, I thought that if anything, you were going to be the one to try not to try to kill me. Me? Indeed, that would have been so much more interesting, so unexpected. Oh, spare me, Orlando. I mean, by now, positively everyone has been trained to anticipate that their initial expectation will be subverted at some point. I mean, if Claire had turned out to be the lunatic, it would have been simply banal. Exactly. Claire had every right to believe that Jim was going to rape or murder her. Thank you. Hey, that's not my point. Of course she had the right to think that. I mean, we're all influenced by musical interludes, and if you say you're not, you're lying. Yeah. My point is that the moment that we begin placing our behavior under the jurisdiction of such frivolous notions, well, there, my friend, lies the path back to the fucking dark ages. You're talking about natural human instincts. I mean, it sounds all well and good, but can it truthfully be put into practice? Absolutely. I'll show you. Okay, now everyone remain perfectly still. Everyone stay calm, just a minute more. I feel scared. Don't be scared, Orlando. Stop yelling at me! See? Nothing to be afraid of. No one here is a sight. Oh,
moment. <laughs> we're alive! Can the party continue? <laughs> Friends, relax. Our murders were merely a part of what I can only assume was Orlando's nightmarish fantasy, which was in itself a product of a bit of deceptively foreboding ambient music. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys! <laughs> Dream sequences are so bourgeois! <laughs> I need to apologize, Orlando. I only hope that everyone has seen the truth. That in order to survive in this world, we need nothing more than our own rational faculties. Cheers! Cheers! Cheers. <laughs> I think I owe you an apology. That's not necessary. Please. I feel like a real bitch. Don't say that. I think you're quite nice, actually. Really? Even after all that? Jim! Take these! Here, I thought we could... What are you doing? I was just... What, so some romantic music swells and I'm automatically supposed to fall for you? Is that it? No. If you thought to consult me on the matter, I might have mentioned that in my experience, a friendship usually precedes anything meaningful. Or is that not how you do things? I wasn't even trying to. You know, I just remembered a doctor's appointment I have to go to. Excuse me. Some people are just beyond help. But did I really believe that? I couldn't help feeling that maybe Claire wasn't just some Philistine, but the courageous sort who lives each day in the moment, knowing full well that life doesn't always provide us with denouement, an informative epilogue, or even a deus ex machina, and that yeah. sometimes... Uh, can you keep it down, man? Sorry. Don't sweat it, bro. And that sometimes, in the real world, you're left with 